The snow shovels, the windshield scrapers, the sleds all made it back out of the garage this morning. KXLY 4's Karina Shagrin live on our sky deck tonight. Karina, there is still plenty of snow on the ground right now. There's still some snow around. The roads, though, are pretty clear right now. The snow has melted, and again, they're looking good, at least for now. But traveling this morning sure was tricky. Walking around on the snow is not all that easy. And this spring snow had some people saying they have seen enough. It's crazy. When Bruce Millsap woke up to several inches of snow... I'm from the south, and it's, uh, it's been a long winter. His long winter... Two more days, and we're into April. ...took a big bite out of spring. This is getting old. <laughs> the spring snow jump-started spring break. We're sledding at Manitou. Nick Biney and his brother, one of many, who kicked off their week-long vacation with long sledding runs at Manitou Park. He gave me something to do with the boys today, so I am enjoying it. Meanwhile, for Pavel Bondarenko, I just walk around. the blanket of white means a stash of green. He capitalized on the overnight snowfall. 30 bucks a house, usually. Going door to door, business to business, selling his shoveling service. Well, I was cleaning this one guy's house, and uh, he said I did a really good job. Come here, and I'll, you can show my whole building here. While much of the snow started melting by late morning, most trees, most cars, most neighborhood side streets still blatantly showed off the spring storm, which put this season's snowfall in the history books. Just heavy, wet snow. And though it forced Millsap to pull out his shovel, he knows it can't stay out all year. We know spring's on the way, and we'll enjoy it in summer. It sounds like the weather will improve somewhat later this week. Some spring weather finally arriving for those teachers and students uh, now on spring break. Reporting live, Karina Shaker and KXLY4.